The box contained 14 black, 20 blue, 26 green balls, 28 yellow, 38 red and 54 white balls. And there are two statements given. We need to find which of the above statements are correct. So let's start with statement 1. So statement 1 says that the smallest number n such that any n balls drawn from the box randomly must contain one full group of at least one color and it's 175. The value of n, the minimum value of n is uh, 175. So we need to check the minimum number of balls that you should select to ensure this condition is 175 or not. So let's analyze what is the condition. That means after selecting this much balls, you should have at least one full group of one color one full group of at least one color okay so in these kind of situations what you need to think about is you just consider the worst case scenario right so that means you try to select maximum number of balls without satisfying this condition right the condition here is you need to select at least a full group of at least one color so what i'm going to do is there are 14 blacks so here the maximum number of balls you can select is 13 blacks you can select see because full group is not selected right so i'm selecting i'm selecting 13 black similarly out of 20 blue, blue balls i'm selecting 19 of them similarly from green i'm selecting 25 green then you have 27 yellow 37 red and 53 white so I think the total is going to be 174 balls. So you can clearly say that after selecting 174 balls, still the condition is not satisfied. See, we are not having um, any full group. Right? We don't have any full group. Right? Any color you take, one is missing. But I can say that the next ball you select irrespective of which color it is doesn't matter you will definitely will have one full group of at least one color so i can say that the minimum number of balls that you should select here to satisfy this condition is 175 so i can guarantee that after 175 balls selected definitely this condition is satisfied you will have at least one full group of one color at least it's possible. So 175 is right. So statement 1 is actually correct. Now let's analyze statement 2. So statement 2 says that the smallest number m such that any m balls drawn from the box randomly must contain at least one ball of each color is 167. So the minimum balls you should select to satisfy this condition is 167. I should check whether this is right or not. So that means I'm just restructuring it the statement so after selecting 167 balls it should have the selection should must contain at least one ball of each color definitely you should have one ball of each color that's a condition given so again i'm, I'm using the same logic i'm thinking about the worst case scenario here so out of these balls you should have at least one ball from each color, right? So what I'm going to do is, I can see that the out of the all the balls, the black balls is fewer in number. So that means I'm not selecting any black ball, okay? No black balls are selected. I'm selecting rest of all other balls, I'm selecting all of them. So that means I'm selecting... 20 blue that means what i'm going to do is i'm going to think about the maximum balls you can select without satisfying this condition okay so i'm selecting 20 balls 26 green 28 yellow 38 red 54 white right all other balls i'm selecting except black ones okay so total you have uh, i think it's going to be 166 balls you are selected if you add add all of them you'll get 166 okay so after 166 balls you select do you think the condition is satisfied no because you don't have any black balls right the condition given here in statement 2 is you should have at least one ball of each color so right now what is missing here is black ones we don't have any of the black balls so after 166 balls also 
like you know the condition is not satisfied here so what we can say is next ball you're going to select definitely it should be a black ball because all of the balls you already selected right so next one is going to be the black ball that means 166 plus one that is after selecting 177 balls 167 balls i can clearly say that you will definitely have at least one ball of each color will definitely will be there so minimum number of balls that you should select to satisfy this condition is 167 so statement two is also right one is also right we explained that before so your answer here is option c is the right answer for this question